What is consciousness? How does mind arise from matter? Or does it? And what does this mean for reality itself? For thousands of years, we've wondered how an inner world of experience could emerge from an outer world of things. This is the mind-body problem. Philosophy's oldest puzzle and science's hardest challenge. In ancient Greece, Plato taught that the soul was eternal and distinct from the body, a dualism of two worlds. His student Aristotle disagreed. The soul, he said, is the body's form, inseparable yet vital. 17 centuries later, René Descartes reignited the debate. I think, therefore I am. For him, the mind was a thinking substance, res cogitans, separate from extended matter, res extensa. But if mind and body are so different, how can they interact? Descartes pointed to the pineal gland. His answer failed, but his question changed everything. It gave birth to modern science, and that split still defines our worldview today. Since then, solutions to the mind-body problem have proliferated beyond imagination. Substance dualism insists mind and body are separate substances. Immaterial soul meets material machine. Property dualism agrees mental properties, like qualia, are not reducible to physical ones, even if from the same stuff. Physicalism counters. Mind is brain, reducible to neurons, chemicals, and processes. Idealism flips the script. Reality is mind dependent, matter an illusion. Panpsychism proposes consciousness pervades all matter, from atoms to stars. And neutral monism suggests mind and matter are aspects of one underlying neutral reality. Each view bridges the gap differently, yet none fully closes it. Even if we explain every neuron, something remains. The experience, the redness of red, the taste of coffee, the feeling of being you. Philosophers call these qualia, the raw textures of awareness. In 1974, Thomas Nagel asked, what is it like to be a bat? 20 years later, David Chalmers named this the hard problem of consciousness. Why should physical processes produce subjective experiences at all? The gap between function and feeling, the explanatory gap, is the heart of the mystery. Today, the question is more alive than ever. Neuroscience maps the brain with breathtaking detail. Artificial intelligence simulates reasoning and creativity. Yet, we still don't know what it means to feel. Can consciousness be measured? Could a machine truly ever experience? Is the mind what the brain does? Or is the brain what the mind looks like from the outside? Some say consciousness is an illusion, a narrative the brain tells itself. Others say consciousness is fundamental, the ground of being itself woven into the universe. Perhaps, as William James proposed, mind and matter are two aspects of one underlying reality. The mind-body problem isn't just a question for philosophers. It's a mirror for anyone who's ever wondered what we are. Are we bodies that happen to think or are we minds that happen to have bodies? Perhaps the answer lies not in choosing sides, but in seeing anew how mind and matter intertwine. The stakes are high. It shapes free will, our choices illusions. It shapes ethics. Can AI have rights? It shapes meaning. Is consciousness cosmic or computational? The mind-body problem is not abstract. It's personal. Understanding it could revolutionize mental health, AI design, and our sense of purpose. Bridging ancient philosophy with cutting edge science. This is Mind Body Solution. Exploring consciousness, reality, and existence. Mind, matter, meaning. Join the quest to illuminate the mind-body problem and take one step closer to the mind-body solution.